Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the middle of the month love reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for my lovely Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. How are you Libra? I hope you're doing amazing. A lot of stability when it comes to love and romance coming through for you. All right, let's see what spirit has for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the remaining of April 2021. Okay, one more. All right, let's get into it, Libra. Now, your first card here is the Ace of Cups, a new beginning. This is transformative type of energy. This is a love offering that's coming through for you. The person of your interest or person that you're dealing with right now, the hanged man. So there is a bit of stagnation on their part. There is a feeling of waiting. For some of you guys, uh, it could represent um, that the person that you were dealing with uh, or that you're interested in may be a bit stagnant because they're holding on to something from the past or they're waiting for something to unfold. Um, this can also represent the feeling of, I'm getting like the feeling of you sacrificing yourself, Libra, to say, to make someone else. Okay, so I'm getting two different messages. For some of you guys, you're dealing with the person that is emotionally unavailable right now. For others of you, it could represent that you're interested in a specific person or individual. But in your surroundings, there could be another person that is interested in them. And there is a feeling of like having to sacrifice your happiness or having to keep it to yourself uh, because you don't want to rain on someone else's parade is what I'm hearing. So again, take the messages for what they are. The likelihood of this connection is the nine of swords. So there's a lot of stress and anxiety. I feel that for some of you guys, you may be dealing with a person that maybe you're aware. Uh, there's a lot of competition around. It could be a person that has, like they have no problem. There is a few people that are interested in them. And this is bringing a lot of anxiousness or a lot of stress, a lot of worry. For others of you, it could represent that there is stress that has been brought upon this connection because someone got involved. Someone could have meddled their way in this connection or tried to take the shine away from you. If you're relating to that story, what they're telling you is like, don't sacrifice yourself for no petty friends. If someone in your inner circle was aware that you were interested in this person and they try to make the move on them, you can't really sit there and blame the person of your interest because they're unaware or were unaware that you were interested. So it's kind of like you put yourself in that situation by not speaking up or not taking action sooner. Whew, heavy energy here, 10 of swords. So the 10 of swords is the like, this, this is the advice based on this situation. The Ten of Swords is let it go. Ten of Swords is detach yourself, embrace the ending. It's start to start something new. It's the beginning process of uh, pulling away from past energies to be able to fully embrace this new beginning that's coming towards you, Libra. Um, for some of you guys, it could have represented a situation where there was a lot of stress. There is a lot of build up stress in this connection. I feel that a lot of people could have gotten in between this connection. It brought a lot of anxiousness, a lot of stress to the situation, and it could have came to an halt or to an end. For some of you guys, there could have been a breakup. Um, and what they're saying here with the hanged man, <clears throat> stop blaming yourself or stop making it seem like, stop making excuses for their behavior. For others of you, Okay, so for others of you, I'm sensing like if you're in the situation where you're interested in someone and someone in your circle or someone around you knew about this and they made the moves on them, I feel that this has brought a lot of stress, anxiousness, or worry to you. But with the Ten of Swords, I feel that there is a conclusion that's happening where something from the past that didn't pick up is going to be renewed because you have the Ace of Cups here and the Ace of Cups is like getting the green light or getting the green light to move forward or to be able to 
revisit a situation where you felt that you had missed or lost the opportunity. The likely outcome is the strength card. So you're going to get through this, Libra. Um, very heavy energy. I feel that for some of you guys, you may be dealing with the situation where a uh, relationship or some type of connection has come to a, a, an end. Um, there's a lot of stress, a lot of anxiousness here. I feel that if the relationship came to an end, you have to see the person for who they really are. I feel that they have a tendency of playing the victim role with the hanged man. It's like they try to blame everyone else instead of taking self-responsibility. They're telling you to embrace this ending, Libra. It's time to move on to fully be able to receive the new blessings that are coming your way. With the strength card, you're going to be able to find confidence in yourself or you're going to be able to um, overcome this obstacle, overcome this hiccup, and understand that you are much stronger than you give yourself credit for much wiser than you give yourself credit for. Um, for some of you guys, you could be dealing with a Pisces energy, water energy, Scorpio, Cancer, or a Leo energy as well. Uh, but I feel that more than anything with the Strength card, it's like, like they counted you out because they probably felt like they could have played you or made you feel a certain way. But the Strength card represents like, yeah, at some point you were able to have some type of control or dominions over me, but it was by choice. Like, don't get it twisted. You know what I mean? Like, it's almost like for some of you guys, they could have taken advantage or taken for granted the trust you bestowed upon them. But with the strength card, it's like you're taking your energy back and you're like, okay, maybe you think that you had control over me. But in reality, it was because I was, you know, I loved you or cared for you enough that I was willing to give that to you. But now I'm taking it back. I'm showing you really what I'm capable of doing. And I'm not going to be dealing with this bullshit because I'm much more stronger than you think or you give me credit for. So very strong energy here, Libra. Let's see what your Oracle love card is here. Yeah, if you're dealing with a situation where the person's playing the victim, uh, but they put you in a situation where it created a lot of anxiousness, a lot of worry, a lot of stress, or they broke up with you and there's a tendency of like breaking up, going back, breaking up, going back, be strong in this situation, Libra, because you need to take your power back. Stop allowing people to take you for granted, uh, to take your sensibility, uh, to take your gentleness approach okay gate is open so this is corresponding to that of the ace of cups it's a new beginning uh the opportunities for love are around you uh keep in mind like i said venus is entering taurus uh new beginnings in love and it's something that it's going to be long lasting because it is on an, in an earth sign, which is stable, strong foundation. Take a leap of faith. Walk through the door. Walk through the new beginnings. Stop looking towards the past. Stop embracing the past. Move towards a new beginning, Libra. All right, my lovelies. I hope that this gives you insight, understanding, wisdom, and knowledge. I wish you guys the very best and we'll see each other soon. Bye.